everybody welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for today across the northern and central plains i'll give you the latest timing the threats because we have all modes of severe weather being possible today and everything that you need to know is going to be in this forecast let's hop right into it so as of right now there is now an enhanced risk of severe weather that does include montana as well as western north dakota the main threats today will be damaging winds large hail and the potential for a couple of tornadoes will exist you can also see a slight risk does exist extend down into areas like Nebraska and there's also a marginal threat that extends down into northern Kansas again all modes of severe weather possible for most areas down in the south except the exception would be the tornado threat most of the tornado threat will stay to the north it's an overall low threat today we might see a tornado or two in portions of far western Minnesota or even northeastern or southeastern portions of north or south Dakota also back out to the west in North Dakota there is also a low end chance for a tornado that would include the area as well that has the enhanced risk of severe weather so definitely an area to watch pretty closely again overall tornado threats can be low if we see one it would likely be brief or weak here's a look back at the damaging wind threat for today you can see it's much higher back out near montana as well as western north dakota you can see that red shaded area representing your 30 percent probability for some damaging wind gusts within a 25 mile radius there's also that yellow shaded region representing a 15 percent chance all the way down into nebraska and then eventually that marginal threat for far northern portions of kansas here's a look at the timing for this afternoon starting out with montana we'll start to see some showers and storms developing between about three to five o'clock mountain time that would be primarily in northern portions or even central montana those will eventually move off to the east eventually by eight to nine o'clock in the evening most of those storms move off to the east towards miles city and eventually going to north dakota here's a look at the timing near 10 to 11 o'clock in the evening you'd see a lot of storm activity currently over there in uh, southern portions of north dakota all those storms have the potential for damaging wind gusts in a large hail as well tornado threat should stay fairly low in those areas though this afternoon and evening eventually going to the overnight hours more showers and storms most of those moving off to the northeast we'll eventually see mostly just ordinary storms if not just rain after about five to six in the morning so that would be what we're looking at then here's a look at south dakota this afternoon and evening so six seven o'clock we'll start to see some storms developing and moving out toward pierre those will go right along the interstate by nine to ten o'clock moving off to the northeast again most storm activity will start to fill in off to the north a little bit more scattered to maybe numerous activity there in south dakota this afternoon and evening eventually mostly just ordinary storms after midnight for these areas areas in south dakota here's looking nebraska this afternoon you can see back out to the west storms developing back out west of north platte those will move off to the east you can see 10 to 11 o'clock a little bit of a line of storms really going to just be primarily producing that damaging wind threat maybe a little bit of large hail as well going to the overnight hours those storms move off to the east going toward omaha and lincoln going to the overnight hours again overall severity of those storms will start to lower as they continue to move off to the east Taking a look at the timing for Kansas, we might see a couple of cells develop near the interstate near Salina as well as Hayes. Those might produce some damaging winds or even some isolated large hail. Can't rely up to two inch sized hail. Other than that, those storms will continue to kind of move out to the east. They should fizzle out by sunset. Eventually, maybe a couple of more storms back out here in far northern, extreme northern Kansas by about midnight or so. Those will move off into Nebraska near Hastings and eventually they will move off to the north and east. And most of Kansas should stay dry after midnight. A little quick look at tomorrow's severe weather potential it is a little bit different not a huge difference but there is a slight risk of severe weather for those near chicago this will have a, a low-end tornado threat potentially in the midwest and there's also a slight risk of severe weather from montana and really the similar areas that are seeing severe weather today may see more storms tomorrow so keep that in mind that would not include southern nebraska or kansas but it would include those in montana north and south dakota and possibly some northern nebraskan areas all right make sure to stay up to the game with max velocity here on our youtube page subscribe down below make sure to like the video this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting and all dense repair